do have stories that uh, we continue long past our price. And the ironing board project is one of those spe specific pieces of art. Mm -hmm. This one starts with the voices of ordinary women in the forms of letters, which are transformed to lin transferred to linens and eventually to the pages of books. Yeah, very interesting. And artist and Susan Mulder is here to share her work with us. And Susan, can you tell us a little bit about this project? Well, the project itself is, like Terry said, based on the stories of ordinary women. And I gathered them from women all over the world, literally. Um, most just heard about it word, word of mouth. Uh, they started with invitational letters being sent out, mm -hmm. stories being sent in. I transferred them to um, letters that are, or transferred them to linens that... I feel reflect the story in some way, so a way to capture it quickly. So as part of Art Prize, um, describe the type of art that you typically do, because this was actually a performance a art performance piece. piece that you did, which is really unique and very interesting. Well, um, typically I work in, in other mediums, but this particular one is... Um, I, I talk about the ironing board project by ironing the linens. And it's a it's a um, a symbolic form of preservation, mm -hmm. and also I do it with another person, and typically it's a younger woman, to symbolize the transfer of um, stories and history through generations. And um, we iron the letters, we suspend them on the line, and for Art Prize, we had to think on our feet. We added an element of sound uh -huh. and actually have a recording of letters being uh, read wow. when we do the performances. Well, being so unique, it seems like you would have to have a, uh, a special venue for it. Where, where could we see this? You can see the Ironing Board Project at the Civic Theater. It's a perfect venue, and uh, we've gotten some great traffic and some great response. And it's Ordinary Women, which is really spectacular because you really get the opportunity to almost beyond the women that are actually showcased here, just shine the spotlight on the idea that we all have stories. That, you know, most of us aren't on television. We're not household names. We all have stories to share. That's right. And one of my favorite responses is just to hear women talk. Um, I can kind of stand to the sidelines and observe. And you'll see women that just spend, you know, a great amount of time going over each letter, and you hear them start to relate amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, this reminds me of... And then they'll start telling their own stories, and it, it propagates that. So I, that's a positive, positive side. Absolutely. That's so exciting. So people can actually come and see. Right, right. I have um, a few more performances. We have two on Friday at 3 and 5, and two on Saturday at 1 and 5. And Saturday is kind of exciting. We're doing an on-site submission event. Oh. And we'll have linens there. And while we won't be transferring them through the printmaking process, we'll have archival pens. And women can come and submit their letters right there in the afternoon. And then they're included in the final performance uh, at Art Prize at 5. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing this with us. And another example of the unique kinds of art that we are showcasing and celebrating mm -hmm. at this time here in West Michigan. Oh, thank you. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back.